I am not really happy with the direction the industry is going. What I mean by that is it really revolves around one word. And that word is esports. Now what you just heard was the prediction of all this madness happening. Come on, let's get right to it. Now Capcom just recently came up with this new policy, pretty much trying to crack down on the bread that the FGC can get. And I think this is a little bit rough. Now Capcom, this all started, Capcom tried to, yo, hey, TOs, you know, we uh, we know you guys have a hard time communicating with us. So let's just show you guys, let me just show you guys this policy announcement, you know, calling all TOs. TOs, look at this. And it looks like Capcom kind of stood in a couple of rules in there that I'm guaranteed weren't there before. Now, these consist of things pretty much that can harm the pockets of the FGC tournament organizers which then hurts the pockets of the players. Now, I'm no competitive player, but I've been able to at least get high in a tournament enough to get some money, right? The bigger the prize pool, the more we all get to eat, right? Not a pro player, nothing like that. Just an avid fan of the FGC. But Capcom really going out of their way to do things like putting a cap on prize pools, making sure you cannot sell merch or whatever and all this stuff using the Street Fighter logo, which I understand they have all the right to do this, but man, they really don't want people making money off of this game, at least to a certain degree, and that is wild. It's almost as if Capcom's like, we we can go esports, right? But we're not gonna give you that esports money. Now, I know a lot of people are probably like, yo, but the FGC doesn't even make that much bank. Why is it a problem to begin with? I think putting a limitation on the income you can get is kind of harsh. That means we can't get a, a special, you know, there I say, you know, Mr. Beast comes into the FGC. Oh, I want to make sure you guys can eat big tournament. No, just like the quarantine series. I don't know if you guys are Smash fans, but that can't really happen when it comes to the FGC. They will not allow that to happen when it comes to the FGC. Why? Because you can't put too much money in there, right? They don't want these players to be making that much bread when it comes to these prize pools. I think that kind of sucks. That is really, really a low blow. All this can really do is make the players not want to play this game. Now we have a Riot game coming up. I don't know if you guys know about that game. We know how much money Riot has. And Capcom's out here playing around, wanting to be esports, but not gonna give the esports money. A lot of people might be quitting on Capcom games. The players might not think it's worth it to stress themselves through all that to not get the big banks. A lot of people, this is their lives. A lot of people might have to start thinking about a backup plan. And I feel for those players. I really do feel bad for those players and tournament organizers. Not a lot of them are really speaking their mind. Why? Because they're afraid that they're going to get the Say Jam treatment. And they're going to have no ties to Capcom. Because Capcom really does help them with a lot. Now let's get to the uh, prohibited rules, right? Other than the money. Let's talk about the rules that are in play, right? Now, obviously, some of these things like harassment, nothing physical, cyberbullying. I do not stand for these things, and I appreciate Capcom making sure that these are these are rules. But there are two things in here that got me questioning. What do you guys mean? Now, this one, there I say, you know, excessive swearing and screaming or threats. Now, I don't know if you know the FGC. Sometimes the FGC can get a bit rowdy. I guess I could say my main concern is the essence of the FGC and also content creation. Now, Nintendo had this thing years ago during the Wii U days that in order to pretty much make Nintendo content, you had to be under their policy. And I think that's a pain because it makes me think like, what if Capcom allows this to, you know, to go through and we allow this and Capcom now in order to stream our game, um, you know, you have to be under this policy. I think that's really scary. Um, as you can tell, I am a Street Fighter V channel. I like to showcase fighting games on this channel. Even if not a lot of people really want to come for those things, I still post whatever I want. Because at the end of the day, I am a fighting game fan. I've been, I've been in this scene for almost a decade now, pretty much. And this is something that I wouldn't want the FGC to feel like they're different now, right? 
I finally am able to express my love for the FGC and I don't want Capcom, you know, just tarnishing that for anyone, right? A lot of people want to make content and feel free to express themselves and be happy for, for this community, right? But it feels like Capcom is almost trying to crack down on that or really trying to micromanage a lot. And I hope it doesn't get to that point where content creators are so affected and you know not a lot of people might not like that and they might end up leaving but just like with nintendo people really retaliated against them and it looks like you know the feedback is coming um they said they were going to review and take the feedback who knows what that does but at the end of the day this is all the love for the fbc that i have right i want capcom to do better we gave them so many second chances and it feels like they kind of turning their back on us right and I want you guys to know, Capcom, please change your decision. This community has tried so hard to stay up. This is what you would call a grassroots community. With that being said, all in all, we just want to see Capcom be successful. Don't turn your back on us. We stood through it all. We've stayed through it all. And we just want the best for you. And we want to support you to that fighting game renaissance that is to come. Do better, Capcom. And if not... That would mean that Mike Ross was right. <laughs> Anyways, have a good one. Yeah.